everybody, it's Andrea Mercier, aka Anlom, and welcome to my studio. Today is pour number 11 for my Collusion Art Exhibit. You can go down into the description and see the link to my Facebook page so you can follow us on our artful journey while we create these pieces. Today is going to be a little bit different. I'm doing a different technique and I'm using a different paint for the first time. I've been using only my Liquitex Basics. Um, this particular paint is made by a company in Canada called Dessairs. So they're equal to um, any other fine art retailer. So in the States it would be like Dick Blick or Utrecht or Jerry's Artorama. Um, they have their own line of student grade paints, just like Dick Blick does, just like Curry's in Canada does, just like Michael's uh, does uh, with their Artist Loft series, and then uh, Liquitex Basics is a student grade paint. So it's their student grade paint, but this particular one has a pearl essence that's been added to it, so an iridescent. So it's called Pearl Blue. And so this is going to be a different paint. It's going to give it a little bit of sparkle. I wanted something different. I'm going to be doing a different technique as well. I'm going to be painting this half or more of the canvas with blues. So I'm going to cover this half first. Then I'm going to put greens this way and tilt it this way to try and kind of make it look like there's grass coming up. Like this would be the sky and this would be grass so that Arlene could do something different in the middle. Um, she has struggled a little bit on a few of the pieces because there's no horizon line and she doesn't want to draw in a, or paint in a horizon line. So this way I'm going to kind of give the illusion of a horizon line. That's my plan. But as we all know, they don't always work out for me. Some of my experiments have not gone well. So I'm going to be concentrating on this half. I'm not, I'm not really concerned if some of the blues get down here because once I put the greens on and tilt it, it'll come back. So my background color is going to be this pearl blue. It came in a little a 250 mil one cup uh, sample. I just got a small amount because I didn't know what the paint was going to be like. So I mixed up the whole thing and I'm going to use that as my background pour. So, as per the norm, this will be in fast forward, and I'll check you on the other side.
when it was weaving up here, I really liked the green part, but I didn't like how it was pushing the blue. See how the blue seems to be pushing too much up? That was bothering me a bit, so I tilted it back the other way. But I still think I'm getting a good flow, this eruption of, I don't know what to call it. It's just like nature doing something. So I'll have to come up with a really cool name for it. I really liked the way the pearl paint worked. So I'll probably buy some more. I think they had some other colors, so I'm going to buy some and try them out. I really like the texture. I like the way it gives depth, kind of like in car paint, you know how candy apple red seems to have like that depth you can put your hand into. It seems to do that here as well. I really like it. I hope Arlene loves it too. I just, it feels like it's moving. It feels like it's growing. It's really cool. So, don't know what the name is going to be yet, but super excited about the way that it turned out and hope that Arlene absolutely loves it. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down there so you can follow me on my artful journey. I'm so excited. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. My channel is really growing and it's thanks to people like you. I really appreciate it. So please come back and watch some more of my artful adventures. It's always better when you're here. Bye!